proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. All right, high time we tried this. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound... Uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? Far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. And sadly, drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kinda strange. You cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants of small animals. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Greetings. Excuse me. Leave me alone, darn it. Don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. Otherworldly. We gotta follow them. Greetings. Lithio to keep you. From Hag Ophis, too. Dead moths often mean a phantom's nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of... death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh... Seriously?
All right. Now I know what we're up against. Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. Don't know much. It's a spirit of some sort. Torments their hermit for some unknown reason. It's immaterial, so I've got no idea how to fight it. If we can even find it, that is. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. It's getting away! Come on, Witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Come on. There's the Umbra! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gotta save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt? We gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? Yeah, it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, by the long face. <laughs> Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year, was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all, helps me focus. Tormenting the hermit. She torments me, refuses to forgive me. I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing. Each day I come and beg her for clemency. 
beg her for clemency. You drink her blood and drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! The monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. You and the Hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace. But Penastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I die, the power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I have flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker, and tossed me during a tourney, one I'd wanted to win badly. Pinastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, a peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me loose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck, until at last he fell. Oh, the regret! I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could? Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. H help me. Noble Mayor, forgive me my sin! Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. Cause that's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, 
In your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost tree from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her. Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped dunk cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. I'm well aware Witchers work for hire. For pay. But I've no coin, alas. I can offer only this. Potatoes. Good crop this year. Exceptional. Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure, mostly Roach is doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? Ride to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. Oh, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. <laughs>